Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Gathalian. Welcome back to Borderlands. Today, we're going to talk about Mr. Claptrap and his action skill, which has been revealed as being called Vault Hunter. Dot exe and how this action skill works is Mr. Claptrap will get one of many randomish uh, action skills, things from having turrets on his head to making the lasers appear around his body to causing massive explosions, so on and so forth. There was even a, a scene of him having um, the Phoenix wings. It wasn't Blight Phoenix, it was the Phoenix wings uh, compared to Miss Lilith inside of Borderlands 1. So basically, this leads us to believe that it's been programmed into Claptrap to have many Volt Hunter-esque uh, skills. Now, my worry is that it will be very random and very RNG based, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense with uh, Claptrap that his ability is kind of random because they wanted to make him a cool, playable character, do something a little bit different. Oh my god, finding legendaries in Borderlands 1. It's normal. Um, and they also wanted to add a little bit of that. God damn it, Claptrap to it. You know, like, throughout the Borderlands games, there's been a lot of those damn it, Claptrap moments. I don't think it would be right to have him as a playable character unless the players had just a little bit of disdain for Claptrap and loved him at the same time. Now, obviously, there's probably gonna be uh, VaultHunter.exe variations that people really like, and then there's gonna be ones that pop up at times, and they're gonna make you fucking facepalm and be like, you are just the absolute worst. And I think that this was a really good route for Gearbox and, um, and 2K Australia to take. Uh, most of the credit I'm basically giving to 2K Australia. I love what they're doing with the pre-sequel, and they're they're really making the game their own and putting a lot of ideas in it that I just I'm not sure that Gearbox would have done to be honest with you. Um, not that I don't love me some Gearbox, but it's just good to get some fresh hands on the game, even though they were working collaboratively. Um, anyways, back to Claptrap's action skill. Uh, I believe that Gearbox's community manager did make mention that the skill kind of uh, decided for you what you needed the most at a given point. That's something that I can't really get on board with because let's face it guys, we've seen Borderlands AI and we know what the Borderlands 2 engine is capable of and we know it derps the fuck out a lot. So do you really believe in the Borderlands 2 AI to know what you need at a given point? I mean, it might be based off of like, how many enemies are around you? Is a badass enemy in the area? That that might be what it is based off of. But this makes me worry just a little bit because if it is based off of like, okay, there's only basic bitch enemies in the area, or there's only like scavs in the area, and that makes it trigger a certain action skill, and then holy shit, a badass spawns. Because um, enemy spawns are random in this game. Yes, it is controlled a little bit by player count, um, but enemy spawns are random, so let's say that you get something uh, from Claptrap's ability that based on the coding makes something that's good for taking out a swarm of little enemies, but then a badass spawns, and then you're sort of stuck there like, ah, oh, shit, well, fuck, goddammit, Claptrap. So I don't know if I'm really on board with this whole the game knows what you need situation. Um, the, the game is very random. Guys, Borderlands itself is built on a random nature. So I, I kind of I kind of feel like this is gonna be more of a dice roll. It might take certain things into account, but if it is programmed to go off for certain things, I am worried that it will trigger the wrong thing at the wrong time because the game is derpy. Uh, there's gonna be arguments of people saying, well, this is, you know, this is like Borderlands 2.5 engine-wise. Guys, we're still working with the same amount of um, memory limitations since the game is um, being made for last generation consoles. So as far as really increasing the game AI and, and making the Claptrap action skills smart, I don't buy it. But I do think it's gonna be fun. I do think the route that they took with Claptrap's action skill is interesting, and he's definitely a character I'm gonna play. I might actually play him out the gate because I think that a Claptrap playthrough on uh, YouTube will make for the most entertaining videos because you're guaranteed to have those goddammit Claptrap moments. 
And that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about his ability. How did you feel about the reveal yesterday? Um, they haven't really done like a full-on trailer explaining or outlining all of the little uh, the little variations. They showed several variations inside the trailer yesterday, but I have a feeling that that's just the tip of the iceberg, um, or maybe it is all of them. I don't know. I feel like there might be a little bit more to it than what they showed off yesterday. Gearbox does like to keep information close to their chest until they're ready to reveal it. And let's be frank, guys, none of us expected this. None of us really expected a random nature for 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 Claptrap's ability. I think it's cool, I think it's unique. I'm really excited to play him. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back in Borderlands pre-sequel.